Shona, we know that applying for a job can take months, maybe more, or it can be short. It all depends. But again, the whole process is stressful. As we talked earlier, you apply so many roles, you change your resume, you do networking, you do information uh, interviews, or maybe sometimes you do the interviews, but you are not selected. And those rejections might affect on people's mind. So in your opinion, is there anything that people can do to stay positive during the job search? Yeah, it's, it's a really good point. Like the job search is so um, like it's, it is mentally straining, right? Mm -hmm. Because as a job seeker, you spend so much of your time kind of like you're in the dark a lot yeah. of the time waiting for someone to get back to you. And that can be the, the waiting and not knowing in itself is hugely stressful and you have bills to pay or your current employment is ending. And it just, it, it's just not hard to see how stressful that experience it is. Yes. Yet I think we don't talk enough about the mental impacts and uh, mental health impacts of, of the job search because yes. they can be really, really huge. Yes. A lot of folks associate like a piece of their self-worth with their living, yeah. right? Like it's yeah. often a part of our identity. Rejection, rejection is something wrong with me. Why no one yes. is hiring me? I've went yeah. to university. I know how to speak. I know how to do, but what's happening? Yeah. 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 And well, and then you hear from job seekers too, like the stories of like, I had this interview. I went for the second interview. Everything went great. And then they just disappeared and yeah. I never heard from them again. Well, like they it's... said, sorry, we're not hiring enough, freezing or something. Oh my God, whatever. It happened to me. Five interviews, one month. Oh. It was again, way back. It was like, uh, okay, five interviews. Like I reached to the CEO and then I, Oh, sorry, we're restructuring. Okay. Yep. And it's hard not to, the, the reality is that has nothing to do with you. Just yeah. like many candidates, it's like, it's nothing to do with you. The fact that yeah. you're not getting hired or whatever, but it's really hard not to like personalize that, you know, because like, especially if it's a job you really, really want. And, and unfortunately, you know, your story isn't a unique one. Like it's very, very common that candidates will go through multiple interviews or um, work really hard on a resume and simply never hear back. I had a client once who applied for a job, went through three interviews, never heard back six months later, got a job offer. Like just Same company. Same company, same company, same job. So it was like, it, it was like what you described. Like they went through a hiring freeze. There was some reorganization going on and it was like waiting. And yeah. luckily she had another job while yeah. she was looking, yeah. right? Yeah. So it worked out in, in that case, but it can be really, really difficult. So yeah. all this to say job search is like hard and it's upsetting yeah. and it can hurt our feelings. And I, I think we need to talk about that more. Yeah. Um, and I, I think when it comes to, like staying positive through, um, through, through the search, we can do a few things as job seekers. Um, I, I think first is it's like an internal mindset that we, that we, um, need to get comfortable with around, uh, like knowing we can influence certain yeah. things in the process, but the job search, there is a lot of stuff that is like far beyond our yeah. control. Right. So I, I think we need to be forgiving of ourselves um, with that. And I think a lot of the times, particularly any of us that did like formal education or came up in corporate, right. You're taught like take accountability. If it doesn't work out, it's your fault. Figure out what you could do different. Yeah. And that's really a toxic mentality, particularly yeah. when it comes to the job search. Cause the reality is you could do everything right and perfect. And you know, your uncle works at the company and you get the job over me, even though yeah. I'm a great qualified yeah. candidate. Right. So yeah. I, I think that first step is really managing our own mindset and kind of mm. getting to a place where we can be a little bit forgiving of ourselves. Yeah. Um, and a way that we can hold ourselves accountable to that is really by working with, um, working with a career coach, like working with a career coach can really help us to level set that. Cause sometimes you're just like, am I, am I, am I crazy? Like, yeah. am I not the only, and you need that outside perspective to really help validate how you're feeling. Um, and to help remind you that of course, all of these things aren't within your, within yes. your control. I think that, um, that working with a, a career coach or having a mentor or even having like a colleague that you, that you, um, uh, that you stay in touch with throughout your job search journey. Mm -hmm. I think that aspect of being connected to other people that support you and want you to achieve success is really, really key to staying, um, to staying positive in the job search. Don't do it alone. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's the biggest mistake you can make yeah. as a job search, um, as job seeker, rather instead uh, manage your job search 
with a community of, of supportive individuals. I tell the clients or the students I'm helping have a schedule. It's very yeah. important. And maybe Monday morning, you're creating a content. Monday afternoon, you're applying for a job. Maybe Tuesday morning, take a break, go to the gym, go for a yep. walk. Tuesday afternoon, meet with a friend, have a conversation, have a coffee. Uh, Wednesday morning, see what's uh, follow the companies that you are looking for and engage with their content. Yeah. And again, celebrate small wins. Even if you applied for a job or let's say you got an interview, celebrate those small wins because the mind will have all this positive uh, feedback in your mind yeah. and then you can engage. And maybe over the weekend, shut the computer, go out, uh, do other things because yeah. you cannot be in front of the computer 24-7 and applying for a job and then be miserable. Yeah, I, I, I'm so with you on all of that. because, And you can see, too, how it's like, if I just keep scouring the depths of the internet, I'm eventually going to find my job. It's yeah. like, okay, right? This is part of how to find a job. Yeah. But to your point, managing your mental health and getting through this journey, which is very much like an up and down yeah. roller coaster, is is much more important than uh, than that. So you got to take a break, yeah. too. And as you mentioned, have if you have a job, it's easier to look for another job. And I would say always to people, network, even though if you have a job, just network, build a relationship. Who yeah. knows from now to two years to three years where, where your job will be, but keep active on LinkedIn. That would be very helpful. Yeah. And people don't do that, though. Yeah. But I, if I, they I, did, I, <laughs> I mean, people don't do that. No. But I, and you know what? I, um, I, I, I feel like it's such an, a simple thing to do, to your point, if you have some sort of process or schedule around it it's not like you got to go out and post every day no, and like no. engage on 50 things yeah. no who are who are your 10 people that you kind yeah. of stay connected with and uh engage on content or whatever it doesn't have to be yeah. like big yeah. and onerous yeah. it just has i to heard be someone i heard someone saying that they have on their schedule one hour linkedin connection or one hour linkedin yeah yep. that's all they do in that one hour or maybe like every tuesday at 10 o'clock 10 comments yeah that's it and go from there. Those That's are practical tips, Shona. Yeah. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience, if you have more tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Shona.